Graphing, entering in the y equals view. In this lesson, we'll mainly use three keys. We'll use first the y equals key where we'll enter functions. We'll use the graph key to graph functions. And finally, we'll use the enter key. And here we're going to go to y equals and enter functions. We can enter up to 10 functions in this view. Let's enter y equals 0.75x minus 3. We've done that here. And then we're going to graph it. And it just looks like a regular line with positive slope going up from left to right. We can enter a fractional coefficient in this view instead of a decimal. Here we've entered 3 fourths in front of the x, which is a slope which is equivalent to 0.75. We can change the appearance of the line by moving the cursor to the far left the left of the Y1 in this case and pressing enter. If we press enter once we get a thick line and from here if we graph it we can see the thick appearance of that line. If we press enter again in the far left we get an upward triangle and graphed this is what it looks like. This would be a graph of the inequality Y is greater than or equal to 0.75 X minus 3. If we press enter again we get a downward triangle and if we graph it, this is what it looks like. This would be a graph of the inequality y is less than or equal to 0.75x minus 3. If we press enter again, we get the football tracer that leaves a line. And when I made the video, I couldn't catch that football in the act of tracing. So that little football shape just traces from left to right and leaves behind it a regular line. If we press enter again, we get the football tracer that does not leave a line. And so the, the tracer just goes along the path of the line and does not leave a line behind it. If we press enter a final time, we get a thin line. And again, this is what the line looks like. Sometimes that thin line doesn't come out looking any differently than a normal line. And we can use different lines, uh, y1 and y2, to test for expression equivalency. And if we do that, what we need to, to do is we need to go to the far left and enter a thick line. And the reason we need to do that is that if we graph both the functions, we will see the original function trace first, and then we'll see the thick line trace over the original line if it is indeed the function. If it isn't the function, um, and we have if it's the same function and we have the same type of line, we won't be able to notice very well that second line tracing over the first one. So that's the reason we can use, and the, the football tracer is an excellent type of line to use to, to test for equivalency as well. Um, we can also uh, check the table view. Now another great use of finding root is finding roots of quadratic functions. Here we have this function and if we set y2 equal to 0 and make it a thick line, we go over to the far left and make it thick, it will appear on the x-axis and when we, we can find the solutions by pressing second, trace, 5, scroll down to 5, enter, enter, enter and we find one solution, which is x equals negative 2, y equals 0. We can find the other root by pressing second, trace, 5, enter, and we, we go arrow to the left, a couple strokes, enter, 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 and we get x equals 3, y equals 0. And so that's another use of graphing. Our two solutions are thus x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 3. Those are our roots. Hope this introduction to graphing has been useful for you. Check out the other lessons.